Hello everyone, I'm Sharon Houck, the Producing Artistic Director for the Warner Theatre, and I'd like to thank you for joining us for this, the ninth Annual International Playwrights Festival. This is actually our final episode. Um, it's been an interesting process that started way back in October, and it's been a thrill for us to bring these to you. So today, we have Saul by Colleen O'Doherty of Nebraska, featuring Leah Demetric and Beth Steinberg, directed by yours truly. We'd like to thank the Marine family and the Connecticut Office of the Arts for their support in making these virtual programs possible, and the Thomaston Savings Bank for their support as our sponsor. So, this is the last time I get to say it in this format. Here we go. Yay! I'm positive. I woke up this morning and he was a dog. This dog. He's not on a trip. I thought he had to go to Chicago for something. You're not listening. I am. I just think maybe you have a little case of dementia. Uh, doesn't move much. Listen, I woke up this morning and rolled over to slap Saul awake. Slap him awake? Yes, that's the only way the man can get rolling in the morning. I just need to slap him as hard as I can across his face. Saul does not need to be slapped awake. How would you know that? I won't keep having this fight. We just need to figure out how to fix him. Well, Jesse just got a dog that looks like this one. Jesse? Your daughter. I know who Jesse is. I just meant, why are you bringing her up now? This is not her dog. She just sent me a picture on my phone. Oh. She sent me, how do you look at pictures? She sent me a picture. Well, did she text it? Snapchat? Uh, Instagram? Are you speaking English right now? <laughs> Oh, good Lord, Nancy. Those are just various ways that people share pictures. And if you haven't even seen oh, that... Oh, just find it. Find it. Open the phone or whatever. Oh, this isn't a flip. Oh, never mind. Oh. This is almost certainly the same dog. There is no way a dog would get in here without my knowing it. Look into that dog's eyes. And you tell me that's not Saul. Same color, same empty stare. Oh, Saul does not have an empty stare. Maybe a slight case of resting witched face, if that's even a term for a man, <laughs> but he doesn't. Oh, hold on. Uh, it looks like you've called his cell phone. Did you leave a message? Uh, see, the dog wouldn't have a phone if it wasn't Saul. Oh, and another thing, another thing, have you noticed he barks every time his name is said. Watch. Saw. Well, that doesn't mean. Saw. James. Nothing. Aaron. Aaron. Oh, nothing. But Nancy, listen. Oh, didn't even respond to Nancy. It doesn't respond to names that even sound like Saw. Paul. Call. Fall. Wall. Sam. Saw, seal, salt, nothing, I tell you, nothing. Let's entertain this thought for a moment. Your husband has magically turned into a dog. We have entered a world in which such ridiculous things can happen. What now? Well, we could take him to the pound and put him to sleep. Good Lord, Nancy! How did this happen? Uh, did you expose him to some bizarre radiation or something? I think it's because he's having an affair with an evil witch. Uh, I beg, beg your pardon? I know he's been having one. <laughs> he's fallen under the influence of some kind of enchantress, and she did this to him. That's my theory. So, uh, oh, that barking. Wouldn't do that. He's as loyal as this yipping little pain of a dog. You really believe that? It doesn't make any sense. You've been married for over 20 years. Why now? You and Ed got divorced last year. Why did that happen? Life is surprising. For instance, 
People turn into dogs. Saul! I tell you. <laughs> He's not having an affair with a witch, or with anyone. <laughs> Look at this. Receipts for panties from that secret Victoria place. For jewelry. Do I wear trinkets that cost this much? No. Well, neither of us does. There's even some for, from fancy dinners. I don't remember. When's the last time we went to the International House of Pancakes? Oh. There's one here from some French place. Well, I think it's French. Well, oh, La Casa, that's Spanish, Nancy. Yeah. Well, hey, doesn't he hate Mexican food? Yeah, whatever. But here's the kicker. <laughs> the witchy stuff. Here's this place. New Horizons, crystal balls, books about self-love, all that crap. I don't have any of that stuff. Not to mention the camel shooter stuff. No. Carl Sutra? Yeah. Why, why would he buy all this? Plus, I don't get phones, but I understand bills. He's been calling this number. So I called it. Some husky voice Jezebel answered. Then, of course, it was the love poem. The what? Oh, give me that. Your tits are the tits. Your nipples are better than butter ripple. In your vagina, I want to dipple. You sexy belle, you cast quite a spell. So, how you doing, sis? Me? Fine. Fine. How are you? Uh, obviously, he's... <laughs> Jesus, he's cheating with some goddamn Satan-loving whore! Some two-bit, second-hand piece of human garbage! A trollop tart hussy! That's why I killed him. <laughs> Just has been out of town for a few weeks. So I trained this dumb thing to respond to Saul. <laughs> now, I'm going to plead insanity when I go to court, which I will. When they find his body, which they will, in your backyard. What? <laughs> no, no, not to worry, sis. I'm going to admit to it all. Claim the crazy old lady thing, and it'll work. Because you'll tell them about this conversation we had this morning about my thinking he turned into a dog. I, well, that doesn't... I, and you'll do it. Because you feel bad about having an affair with my husband. And you'll do it because you're just as pissed as I am that he's having a second affair with some whore. Oh my God, you knew about us. <gasps> Are you going to kill me? Why would I kill you? For having an affair with Saul. <laughs> oh, that's so annoying. No, no, no. I didn't mind when it was a family affair. I could keep track of you. Besides, I owe you. Oh. What are you talking about? I stole your boyfriend in high school. Yep. Karma is a bitch. I understand. Karma. Karma is yeah, a bitch. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But this new one, she's the one I'm going to say told me to do that. Can you imagine that? Taking advantage of some crazy old lady. You've really thought this through. Every detail. So, this conversation, you in? A 
Of course. I can't have you rot in some prison. Rot there myself, I guess. Also, that bastard cheated on us. Goddamn soul! Ah, we get it! Your soul! Soul, 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 soul! You want some more coffee? Yes. Fill me in on the rest of this plan? Of course. But first, a toast to us and to Saul. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>